Have you ever gotten a message like this and you don't know what to do? This is of course Valorant and Valorant is asking for TPM enabled right now and of course secure boot. Also when you're trying to install Windows 11, sometimes you do need the requirements like this, the TPM to be enabled. Do know that your system needs to be TPM enabled and this stands for Trusted Platform Module. And this of course checks if your system is safe enough to go, for example, on Valorant and install Windows 11 because they're trying to avoid people trying to get a Trojan horse, a virus or anything like that into the systems and nobody wants that. So now I'm going to switch to my own Windows and I'm going to show you how to enable TPM in your own BIOS. Make sure you follow the steps, subscribe down below so you're always tuned in and let's get started. The first thing you have to do is go to this start menu and then click here on the power button. After this, hold down shift on restart. And this is also the same for Windows 10 users. To the left, you can actually click on the button and then you see restart. Make sure you hold down the shift button while clicking on it and then you should see please wait. Let me switch the camera. So very simply, you're going to click here on the start menu. Then you're going to see this power button. Click on it and then hold down shift while pressing restart. Holding down shift, having the button, having that ready and hold down shift while doing this and then you will see please wait. After doing this your system is going to restart and pop up in the advanced options menu. Now of course you're seeing the logo of my laptop that's an MSI and now this window is going to appear. The only thing you have to do is to click here on troubleshoot. By selecting it, you can click on enter or just press the left mouse button. Now I'm going to select advanced options the same way. Now the only thing you have to do is to go to UAV firmware settings, change settings in your PC's UAV firmware. Very easily just select it and then click on it. Now make sure you restart the system. What's now going to do is go to the BIOS which stands for basic input output system. And this is everything behind the scenes where your Windows is running. Well, I have, of course, a different motherboard, I have a laptop, and that's just why it's different for you. The only thing you need to know is that we need to go to security. Try to find security settings, or try to find the first option, and that's advanced options. After doing this, and you see security, make sure you try to find secure boot and trusted computing. You can use the arrow keys to go down, and after doing this, you should be able to select trusted computing here. After clicking on it, you can see that mine is disabled. I've done this on purpose. And here you can see that it enables the support for this protocol, so it should work. Security device. Let's enable it by pressing enter and then selecting enable right here by using the arrow keys. Press enter again, and then it is enabled. The only thing we have to do now is to go back, which you can do by selecting it again. For example, go to secure boot right here because we also need to enable this for Windows 11. And when you have done that, you can see that it's disabled here. You can actually press the same way, enabled, and then enter. Sometimes it is possible to go to save and exit and load the optimized defaults. Here I have mine disabled for now. If I go to save and exit and load optimized defaults, it should actually also do the same. Optimize, and then it's going to reset the settings, go to security, and it should automatically be enabled with every single new system. If it doesn't, make sure that it is enabled in security. That's very really smart. Now the only thing you have to do is to go to save and exit and then go to save changes and reset, just like this. Pressing enter and then pressing enter again with this menu. The system is going to restart. There was only my speaker, nothing's going on. And now your system is going to start up with Windows the same way it normally does, but now you have TPM enabled. Now it is enabled, you should be able to play Valorant again and install Windows 11 from Windows 10 or just use the PC Health Check to check if you are ever going to be eligible for Windows 12 when it comes out. I don't know, maybe 2030. <laughs> we will never know. But please like this video if you have enjoyed it, if you found it useful. This was a very short video how to enable TPM. And make sure that you comment down below if I said anything wrong. I'm trying to improve myself too. And these videos are meant to be for people with basic knowledge of these systems. So I'm not using complicated words. And sometimes maybe it sounds wrong, but it's only because it's easier to explain. It's easier to explain that I'm activating a motherboard than I'm activating an EME, for example. Nobody knows what that is. So I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.